All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? for this, our main event of the evening. Four years apart, with big differences in height and reach. We set it inside the octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. If you see first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler. Making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of New Delhi, India. Introducing the challenger, the giant. And now introducing the champion. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of. 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle. UFC Championship. I want you to build my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, match your corners, come out fighting. I know you have said to anyone within your shot, if you like grappling, this is the matchup for you. This is the matchup for you. You may as well be in a gymnasium somewhere watching a jiu-jitsu right, or a right. combat sambo competition because these guys are trying to both get the fight to the floor and they're trying to get bragging rights because no one has the accomplishments of these two in the grappling realm. So if one of them can secure a submission, it only will add to their legacy inside of the grappling world. And of course, if you're someone who likes the striking game, uh, maybe you'll like our next one. Yes. Oh, 
nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. and there's that left hand from Cuppy. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand his strike with anybody in the UFC. Nice punch land. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Oh, a gorgeous switch kick by him there. Clearly, he has practiced that move and was able to execute on fight. He can do that and not really tell you where that kick is going. All right, so once again, they will clinch, and we will see which fighter is able to advance their position from here. Who's going to be the first one to attempt to take down? Both of our combatants have the ability to score and secure the position. Who's going to be the one that makes the first move? Outstanding knee to the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. Caught the kick. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Ooh. You got him. Going for the spinning sidekick to the body, but he missed. Big call from Punch Land. Now he gets back to range. to the head. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov, you see. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. Now, Khabib lands early, and he lands off. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially. But now it has been found. It has been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Big punch lands over the top. I'm going to follow this one. Right on the button. 30 seconds to go now. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Nermanko Meta. Just misses with a left hook there. Head kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene.
All right, here we go with round two. Oh, he lands a huge right hand. Punch over the top. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Use of the jab there by Nermago Meta. I'm trying to double up on that jab. Oh, huge clock! Oh, that's a beautiful strike there by Khabib. Don't call him a one trick pony. Don't call him a one trick pony, John, because he isn't. He is a guy that is able to mix everything up inside the octagon. Oh, double jab splits the guard. Wow. Gomedov gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Beautiful. His misses are entertaining. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. And they separate. Oh, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jab. Leg kick checked by Nermago Meta. Nice strike. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Nermago Meta. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Just over three minutes now to go. Nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Nermago Medov gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end thus far. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Right hand punch to Clinton. Countering now with a hook shot to the body. That punch landed by Nermago Meta. Nice punch lands over the top. Flips that left hand. Well, Javier Mendez, Tony Johnson, all the guys at AKA kind of like what they're seeing out of Khabib Nurmagomedov striking here early in DC. Look at the commitment to kick in this fight. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Nice. Effective punch there by Nurmagomedov. Nice body kick right under the elbow. <laughs> oh! Oh! oh man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on YouTube right now. He's seeing Left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Look at how he drives his knee. Right into his opponent's mix. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. That was a nice play. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Nermago Medov. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Man, how good is his right hook counter? Fifteen seconds. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Nermago Medov. 
straight punch. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, the round is over. Gut check time for him now. You see the cut on his cheek has gotten really, really bad. And even though it's not affecting his vision, if it gets any worse, the doctor will be called in. And I can assure you, he's going to have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Pretty good right hand. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh! Oh! Right there, seven to blow the fight. And it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement in that upstairs. Big punch land. Ooh. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Nurmago Metal. Over and over, he is landing punches to the head. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Straight punch land. lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Trying to kick the leg out. Three minutes to go in round three. Oh, good job with the ankle kick to get him down. Now we'll see where he chooses to go from here. Got the ankle kick. Let's see how he advances. He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. He did a great job securing that ankle pick, but he did not react fast enough to secure the top position. And just like that, back to his... His head still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was over him versus a gunner. And you know, he's still having a out over his head. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Oh! Huge right hand! Always oh, than these type of transitions and scrambles on them. High level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land a beautiful front. Big leg kick land. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Nurmago Menov gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Oh, a huge block there. Nurmagomedov gets 
hit with a kick. That one appeared to land. Up and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make the feet going low and the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with five. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Big punch lands in the middle. Whoa! Oh! Oh! Another oh, shot right on the button. I mean, the shot, that is the most debilitating shot in all of fighting. It is very difficult to recover from that. What a round! No, 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 no. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but... That is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will. Your Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he's down real good, too. Well, oh, he's up. But he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Nice punch lands over the top. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. That right hand hurt him a little bit. And he comes through with a big knee. Both of these guys going right out. High action fight here. Oh, big left hook there. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Oh. Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight. It's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 38 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib So a big win tonight for Khabib Nurmagomedov. They say everybody eventually meets their match in mixed martial arts. It hasn't happened for Nurmagomedov yet. And you wonder what type of fighter striker is going to be able to find the recipe to beat Khabib Nurmagomedov once again, proving that he is one of, if not the best lightweights in the world.